forget super apps or all those all-in-one apps. Sometimes the best apps for your Mac aren't the ones that try to do everything or be everything. They're just things that do one thing really, really well. The first app you should know is called Focus C. This is probably every creator's dream screen recorder. You just hit record and it automatically zooms, pans, and highlights your mouse. And no editing required, you have a really, really professionally done screen recording. The result looks like you spent hours polishing your tutorial or your demo, even though you didn't touch your timeline at all. It's perfect for product walkthroughs, course videos, or sharing quick how-tos for certain apps and software. So you can imagine why I love it so much. And basically it takes your screen recordings and make them look really, really professional with zero effort. Think of it like Lou meets Final Cut, but a lot easier. And if you like this app, be sure to watch till the end because I think that there's an app on this list that if you pair with Focusy would make a killer combo. So now let's take a look at this other app called Look Away. As the name might suggest, this is the app that reminds you to, well, look away. If you spend hours glued to your screen, this one's a quiet lifesaver. It helps you take healthy breaks for your eyes and your posture without messing up your flow. You can set it to pause every 20 or 30 minutes for a quick eye break, or you can even take a longer rest every hour. Whatever works best for you. And if you tend to ignore reminders, you can even do locked breaks, so you cannot skip these breaks. What's smart about this is it knows when you're busy. So if you're in a meeting, you're doing a recording, or you're deep in focus, it automatically delays your break to when you're free. So there won't be any awkward pop-ups if you're inside of a Zoom call. Now let's take a look at paper. If you love clean, distraction-free writing, paper is that dream minimalist text editor. I really love apps like this. There are no menus in sight, no toolbars. It's just you and the words that you need to write. So it's really perfect for a lot of use cases in my life. I love using it for writing first draft subscripts when I'm really like, faced with a blank canvas, but you can also use it for things like journaling or brain dumping your ideas. And yes, it even supports Markdown if you're into that, but honestly, the best part is just how quiet this app feels. It's like how a writing app should feel. And by the way, all of the apps that I talk about in this video are available through Setup. It is basically a Netflix, but for Mac apps. It's one of the best ways for me to discover hidden gems. And if you're interested to try it out, I will leave a link in the description below. No, this is not sponsored, but if anyone from Setup is watching this, I have been using you guys for like the last five years, maybe more, if you guys want to sponsor me. Wing wing. Otherwise, let's move on to the next app on this list, which is called Workspaces. So you know that messy feeling moment when you're trying to start work, you have to open your browser, your Notion, your files, your Figma, your Slack, and you have to do it one by one. Well, Workspaces fixes that. You can bundle all of your tools and your files for a project into one workspace and then launch everything with just a single click. It's perfect for people like me who has a full-time job, but I also have like a bunch of side projects because I just have to set up all of these different apps all at once or different use cases all at once. And then I can get, uh, I can be switching between different projects with just a click of a button. App number five I want to talk about is called In Your Face. If you keep missing or get late to meetings, even with calendar alerts, In Your Face will literally put one in your face. When it's time for a call or an appointment, it takes over your screen with this giant reminder that you just cannot ignore. It also pulls from your calendar and shows countdowns, so you're never really caught off guard. It's a bit aggressive, but it is super effective. Next up is Presentify. If you've ever wanted to draw on your screen while you're presenting something on a recording, whether it's for school or for work, Presentify lets you annotate anything on your Mac. So you can highlight sections of a website, you can underline text during a call, or you can even sketch diagrams in real time. It's really simple, it's lightweight, and it's incredibly handy for people like me who are creators who do tutorials, but even for people who do a lot of presentations at work or school. So as I was hinting earlier, I think that if you combine Focusy, the app that I first spoke about with Presentify, I think it would be an amazing one-two punch for doing things like master classes or workshops. I think if you combine both, you could make a really, really amazing uh, instant YouTube video or something. So just keep that in mind. And the final app I want to talk about is Lo-Fi Garden. Lo-Fi Garden is your one-click focus companion. It's literally just a play button that fills your space with calming lo-fi beats. 
No playlists to pick, no genres to choose, no distractions. You just hit play and start getting into your flow. It's really simple, it's really cozy, and it's perfect for deep work, for studying, journaling, or just really zoning in on any task you're trying to zone in on. So those are seven underrated Mac apps that I think should absolutely be on your radar. If you learned any new ones from this video, I would appreciate it if you left a like. And be sure to subscribe because I talk about some cool apps like this every once in a while. Uh, otherwise, I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye!